Hey again, I want to talk in this video about nested if. If you go back to the video when we talk about simple if statement, we said it's very basic to have simple if statement. And we said this if statement could have a block of code. We didn't say what is what we have what we could have in this block. We could have uh, variables as you defined before. You could have print message. You could have another if statement inside it. And that's what I want to show you in this video. So if I just create a new uh, Kotlin, I some simple nested if, okay, and I will go to the simple if statement and copy the code to it because I need to use some code. I don't really need to repeat myself. So I see very basic code, just having main integrate integrate if you get that the 19 print line and you're done. So what if you said, hey, the people who are greater than 19 are divided in two groups. Either maybe they will get A or will get A+. plus. So you just here in the middle of this block, you say, if the grade less than 93 should be A+. plus. What's suppose? You just add in between a bracket. Okay. You say, else they should be no, sorry, they should be A. So, if the person grade less than 93, should be A minus. Otherwise, should be A plus. The idea I want to show you here, how you have if condition, and inside that if condition, you have another if condition. And here you have if else inside that if. That's totally normal, because you said this block of code could have anything inside it. So now, when you run it, when you run the code and try to debug it, so if someone enter 93, whatever, he will go that block and he will, inside that block, he will try to execute the conditions. So just always put this rule in your mind. Uh, when you say a block of code, that could have anything. Block of code could have loops, could have condition, could have et ever. So 9.4, he came here. Hey, I just click run. I didn't click debug. Let me just click select debug now to show you how this one will work and yeah, make it a little bit clear for you. So yes, waiting for seconds and see what is going on in if nested if. So let you suppose I have 94 going here. Is 94 greater than 90? Yes. If he greater than 90, he will go into this block. So this block of code, he be in the block. So now that block inside it, he check. Is it le greater, less than 93? No. He will be go to the else, say A plus. So you will see on the screen, he print A plus for 93. So same thing when you do it like 92, he will tell you the if statement. So make sure always to to understand the concept, the just concept saying, hey, if you have a statement, this if statement could have anything inside it. There is no rules for that. So 92. He say, oh, yes, greater than 90, less than 19. Yes, he will not go to the else. Also, make sure this one could have this block of code still also could have anything inside it. So this one, a block of code could have anything inside it. You will see more details, more examples later on, but just to understand the concept will be great. So here we done. Thank you for watching. See you next.